Welcome back, everybody. We are focusing on a local organization that is working to break the cycle of homelessness for women and children for this month's Impact Give Back, sponsored by Morris Bart. Today, Executive Assistant Sydney Coleman is here to tell us more about their mission and an upcoming event you all can attend. Welcome to the show, darling. Looking so good today. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so grateful to be here. Oh, I'm so grateful to be talking to you because you all get ready. This is about to be a great conversation because I was reading up on you all's founding of the shelter and I did not know about it. Please, for people who do not know, how did the shelter first get started? Well, the shelter got started back in 2006. Mm -hmm. Small grassroots um, type operation. Didn't think it was going to be something more than a year or so to help with the homeless situation after Katrina. But with that in mind, it grew mm -hmm. because the situation of homelessness grew. So true. And unfortunately, as of today, we're really behind the eight ball with this homeless situation. It's a disease. It really is, and you it's know? something we have to get together, everybody. And luckily, there are opportunities and resources available like you all's shelter. You all are actually now the largest sheltering organization dedicated to serving the most underserved and vulnerable population in our area, which is amazing. Let's talk a little bit about the services you all offer. Okay, well, the New Orleans Women and Children's Shelter is a complete, well-rounded program. We work with the City of New Orleans, Jefferson Parish, and Unity for the Homeless, who coordinates the entry for the shelter. Mm -hmm. What we offer is case management from the very beginning of your entry through education and employment, financial literacy. We also have rapid rehousing, where we have a case manager that goes out in the community, works with landlords, and helps the families find affordable, secure housing. And the biggest piece of our program to me is the TAP program. It's what we call TAP. It's Transition Assistance Program. Tell us a little bit about that. That helps you for another 18 months after mm. you leave the shelter. I really believe at this point it's the reason why we have a 98% success rate. Mm -hmm. Families who leave New Orleans Women and Children's Shelter do not return into homelessness. It's so true because, and I love that you said that because a lot of times people will think, okay, I'm gonna offer you this temporary housing, then you're gonna find housing and then you're good to go. No, 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 because look, the cycle can come back, back. everybody. And for you all to offer that program to help people after they find housing is amazing. And everybody, let me let you know, it's not just single mothers. If you're a single father with children, they can help you out as well. And if you're an intact family, they can help you out as well. How many people are currently at the shelter and Moreover, for people who are watching this who are like, oh my goodness, I know somebody who needs help, how do they get involved with the shelter? Do they just show up? No. First of all, we're always at capacity. Capacity can be anywhere from 34 adults and 50 children, so that's like 84 individuals. Wow. The way that you get in touch with the New Orleans Women and Children's Shelter is that you go through UNITY. UNITY coordinates the entry of for the shelter. Mm -hmm. And that number would be 504 356 one eight five nine and if you miss that everybody that will be on our website after today's show so make sure if you know somebody who needs to help make sure you give that number a call and you know miss coleman you actually have a story you want to share because it's mother's day coming up on sunday everybody <laughs> share that story for us yes. please I, well basically i want people to know homelessness is not an option mm -hmm. it's a dual circumstance in many cases whether it's because you lost your job um, domestic violence so many other things that can cause homelessness in my situation homelessness was a choice that I had to choose mm. for my family because I had to buy medication for my child mm. and I couldn't afford rent and medication mm. so as a result I was homeless you know but it was a program similar to the New Orleans Women and Children's Shelter, a community-based program that helped me get back on my feet. That's why it's so important to give to the New Orleans Women and Children's Shelter because the community is what we need to raise our families. It's not an individual project anymore. It's about you, me, 
everyone, loving everybody every day, giving them support, bringing them through the difficult times, bringing them through the crisis. And without that community support, I wouldn't be here today. And look at the success story, everybody. Do you see what happens when we all can get together, help out organizations that need it? You end up being the executive assistant for a wonderful <laughs> shelter. Look, thank, thank you. you so much for joining us. Thank you thank for paying you. it forward and working with the shelter now. What a great mother. Happy Mother's Day to you, thank everybody. You so and look, we have got to support this shelter, everybody. If you want to support them, guess what? They have an upcoming event called Bubbles and Bubbly, Bubbles and Bubbly, I should say, on Sunday, May 21st at 5.30 p.m. It is a family-friendly event. For more information about the event, which is happening at the Louisiana Children's Museum, head over to nowcs.org for more information. And go to our website for that phone number if you need the help.